Hey, 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 my gorgeous guru. I'm Abiola Abrams, founder of the Coaching Business in a Box Kit. Available now at coachingbusinessinaboxkit.com. Welcome to this masterclass on how you can get nine highly engaged new clients in 28 days. Uh huh, you heard me right. Nine new clients in 28 days. So we better get started, right? Let's do this. I'm going to be sharing with you 13 powerful and proven tools, tactics, and techniques for how you can take your coaching business to the next level. What would it mean to you to have nine new clients in the next 28 days? Now, this is a process that is going to work. Everything I'm going to share today is going to work for coaches, for healers, for trainers, for consultants, for gurus. So whatever title you give yourself, you are in the exact right place. You're gonna wanna be taking notes, so you can do it old school like me, pen and paper, <laughs> or you know, open up a new file in Evernote or just on your phone or whatever. But what I highly recommend is you just stay engaged with me and head over to unblockmycoachingbusiness.com where you're gonna get the notes free, you're gonna get my free coaching kickstart, coaching business kickstart, and you're also gonna get a free Unblock My Coaching Business course. So you wanna head over to unblockmycoachingbusiness.com to make that happen. Let's get this party started. All right, so step one. So number one thing that you can do in the next 28 days to get this these engaged new clients is you've gotta have the right mindset. Are you walking into this with a mindset of lack and desperation? Or are you walking in knowing that you are ready to transform people's lives and help them to take their lives to the next level? As motivational guru Zig Ziglar said, the fastest way to get help get what you want is to help other people to get what they want. So what kind of mindset are you bringing into your business? Because if you're coming telling me that you want to be a healer, right? And you wanna heal me or, or help me to heal or give me the capacity to be able to heal myself, which is really what healers do, or you're telling me that you want to be a coach and you wanna coach me onto my greatness and you're coming in with a mindset that is anything but greatness, Am I gonna believe in you if you don't believe in you? So make sure that your mindset is powerful. And then you wanna have a strong plan. As my grandmother used to say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So what is your strategy for your coaching business success? This woman recently emailed me for some advice and she was you know, wanting some advice about her coaching business because I'm an award-winning author, speaker, advice columnist, and of course, a transformational coach. And she wanted advice and I asked if she was interested in coaching and she said, well, no, because I'm a coach. Well, all right, so first of all, if you are a coach and you are not, if you're a coach with and you don't believe in coaching, <laughs> then how can you expect your clients to believe in coaching? Every great coach has several coaches, not only one. So again, are you setting yourself up to win or are you setting yourself up to fail? What is your strategy? What is your mindset? All right, now, number two, niche and ideal clients. You are not for everybody, my sunflower. <laughs> and I hate to be the one to break it down, break it down to you like that. It was it was bad news for me when I heard because hey, I am a recovering people pleaser. But you're not for everybody. I'm not for everybody. Oprah's not for everybody. Michelle Obama is not for everybody. So you have to be very specific on your niche, your once you've got your mindset down, your niche and your ideal clients. Let me give you an example of how this works. For example, my amazing goddess gurus, the Spiritpreneur Warrior Business Sisterhood, these are spirit-led women leaders who are creating transformational businesses. 
right in my wheelhouse they are my ideal clients and i am honored to serve them and so when i do something like start our coaching sessions by you know getting our chakras aligned or uh pulling an affirmation card right or starting with a guided meditation or guided visualization they understand the benefits of that they are not afraid of the woo woo we are the woo woo <laughs> you know and so you having your niche that is right for you, you know, is everything for your business. Absolutely everything. So we get afraid, and I was for years, that by niching down, you are gonna leave money on the table. But it's the, the total opposite. When you niche down, then your ideal clients and customers can see you, all right? So if you're gonna be wanting to get these nine highly engaged, uh, people coming to you for your services in the next 28 days, you have to know who you're talking to. How are you gonna find me if you're not all up in the woo-woo tribes where I am, <laughs> right? And just the same, if your ideal client is, say, women doctors over 35, how are you gonna find them if you don't know that that's who you are looking to engage with, all right? So very, very important. All right, so number three, now, you probably know that you've got to have a free gift to build your mailing list, right? Now, and if you don't know that, I'm telling you now, you need to have a free gift to build your mailing list. Your business is in the list. That's why, you know, this is very key, very important to building your business. So, how are you getting people to your business? With the free gift. How are you getting them to opt in, give you their email address? With the free gift. Now here's what the tool is and the technique. You've got to promote your free gift. A lot of new coaches, new healers don't realize that as well as a lot of really established people. They create the free gift and then it just sits there on your site. Maybe you've got a pop-up when people come to the site, there's a little pop-up or whatever. But if I never come to your site, then I'll never even know about your free gift. And these days, you know, I'm going to people's sites less and less. And I would suspect your ideal clients have the same thing going on. I have my peeps that I hang out with on, on my Instagram account, have my peeps that I hang out with on Facebook. The same with my peoples on Twitter. Very rarely, Every once in a while, do I go to their site? So if they are not tweeting or Instagramming or YouTubing or whatever it is in the places where I'm engaging with them and letting me know, hey, gorgeous, I got a free gift that's right up your alley, I won't know. And so then I am there enjoying their content, you know, loving their pictures on Instagram or loving their YouTube videos or whatever, floating around in the ether, and they never make the conversion for me to be in their funnel on their way to being an enlisted, engaged client because they haven't offered me their free gift. So just like you would sell, 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 whatever it is that you're offering, got to sell 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 that free gift get out there you took time to create that checklist or PDF or case study or whatever it is right so get out there and let people know about it let us know have it in your PS and your signature scream it from the rafters have it in your social media bios sell 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 your beautiful and wonderful free gift so that us your ideal clients know that it's available and we can get into a deeper relationship with you and continue to know, like, and trust you. Because it's those KLT factors, know, like, and trust. We all do business with people that we know, like, and trust. Especially for you as a coach, as a guru, as a transformational leader or healer. You are in a very intimate business where I gotta feel comfortable with you. And so the way that you've gotta do that is get out there, let me know that your free gift, which you've created specifically, with me in mind as your ideal client in your niche. Let me know that it is available, all right? Good. Okay, so number four way to really get out there and start to get these new clients is with free seminars. What we're doing right now, we're doing a free masterclass 
and we're talking about how to get new clients. This directly ties into my coaching business in a box kit, right? Available at coachingbusinessinaboxkit.com. This directly ties into my free offer of a coaching business kickstart, available at unblockmycoachingbusiness.com. So see, I'm modeling for you exactly what you need to be doing. So you can have either free live sessions on Facebook, which is amazing for engaging with your audience who has already clicked the little like button and said, hey, I wanna know more of what you're doing. You can do the same on Periscope, Instagram. You can do the same on YouTube. You can practically have a live session anywhere where you've got your phone. So I urge you and encourage you to make this a part of what you're doing. If you wanna take things to the next level, then you wanna invest in some kind of webinar software. I really like um, Webinar Jam. That is, you know, Webinar Jam is the jam. <laughs> and you can, but there are, there are many other ones. So the great thing, the difference between doing a webinar, you know, just as a live broadcast on Facebook Live and having people sign up to see you at a specific time at their convenience on Webinar Jam or another software is not only is it at their convenience, but now they've paid you for this your services with their email address. And so now you can keep in touch with them, continue to give them highly engaging and highly valuable content. You never wanna spam anybody. You never, actually, let me just talk to you for a second. Let's just talk, all right? Guru to guru. I am presuming by you watching this, you have your stuff together, okay? So your free gift that you're putting together, it needs to be irresistible, right? What do I want? If you're gonna come into my email address, my email box, which is my most intimate place online, you know, if you are going to want me to come and spend time with you in a webinar class like this, I want you to know your chop, got your, got your chops together, know your stuff, whatever the saying is, <laughs> have the chops. I want you to have the chops and know what you're talking about, okay? If you are telling me, you know, here is the paleo plan to change your life and you don't even follow it, then just stop, turn this off right now because the people that I am interested in empowering and helping them to empower and inspire and transform the world through their amazing clients are people who are light workers and change makers themselves, people who are willing to walk the talk. And it's all right if you're not there yet. You're a work in progress and confession so am I. But you've got to be about being the best that you can and about delivering to your ideal clients what you say that you're going to do. Be nothing short of amazing when it comes to off to your offer. Okay. All right. Okay. That wasn't one of the 13 points, but I thought that that was important to point out. Okay. So free seminars, webinars, teleseminars. Okay. Number five, are you in alignment with your ideal clients? Now, this means that, let me break it down for you this way. Are you talking, are you speaking their language? Are you looking the part? Now, what that means is that it is different things for different niches. So for example, if you are in, the let's go back to you know the coaching the female doctors niche right are you coming to them from a place maybe you're a doctor yourself which is great because now you're speaking to them and you're able to speak in their language if i went and i was going to coach specifically female doctors and my limited um <laughs> vocabulary of the medical field comes from gray's anatomy on a good day then i might not be able to talk to them and it doesn't mean that you have to be a doctor to coach doctors it means that if that is specifically new, your niche, then you need to just get up on it, do some studying, come into alignment with who your ideal client is. When I say, do you look the part, I'm talking about everything from how you present yourself to your website and your social media profiles. Looking the part is different, say for a yogini, a yoga guru, right? And someone who is 
coaching lawyers on how to best present themselves and make a closing argument. It could be the same clients. You could have some overlap. Of course, there are many lawyers who are wanting to do their get their yoga on. But it depends on what you are coaching the person on. What is your offer? So if, again, you are a yogini and you're here and you're giving me a master class on rocking my yoga life and you're in a you know stiff buttoned up shirt then i'm not really relating to the yogini part of your experience now we're all multi-dimensional multi multi-faceted people right but again you're not for everybody so the things that turn your ideal clients on are going to turn other people off like for example you know i like to have like my like i said my my woo woo environment those kinds of things are not going to feel good to somebody who is not magnetized toward me they're gonna be like oh that's kind of weird what is that why does she have that you know and that's fine because then they can move on and find someone that they are in alignment with so the best way to do this is be authentic be authentically you because nobody can beat you at being you so if you know for example there may be many different people who are um, yoga healers but what kind of yoga healer are you what is your specific specific niche and who are you speaking to come from a place of authenticity engage them with who you really are bring your whole self to the table and to the party okay and this is how you are going to magnetize your clients and customers to you and actually if you had if you do decide to get the coaching business in a box kit I have how to you know how to get your ideal client. I have master client master classes within the coaching business in a box kit. I have templates and letters on getting your client, your turning your prospective clients into paying clients. I have information on how to get high paying clients in your business. So you definitely want to check out the coaching business in a box kit at coachingbusinessinaboxkit.com. All right. Now, number six, leave your office. <laughs> or if you're a coach who works at home, leave your sofa. Get out there. I have had amazing clients that I've met by being at a part of an event, you know? So not only we're gonna get into speaking a little bit later, but not only, you know, if you're speaking or being on a panel or something like that, but just get out and just engage. If you're wanting to coach people on public speaking, head over to where public speakers hang out. You know, go to speak at, um, go to their mixers and their events and their meetups. Meetup.com is a godsend for you who are trying to find new clients. And don't sit here and look at me and be like, well, why is she telling me about meetup.com? And then don't do any of the things I'm talking about. And then after 28 days, wonder why you don't have your nine new clients. You need to put your niche into the meetup.com bar, search for whatever your niche is and get your butt out there. If your niche is Reiki for seniors, head over to meetup.com and find some seniors and start getting out there and mingling with them and telling them about your Reiki services. Now, the word networking, the N word, ugh, the other N word, <laughs> networking, I cannot stand that word I don't like it it just seems so formulaic but what I do want you to do is get out of your house and be authentically you and do your shimmy and shine by being yourself and enjoying who you are in the presence of other people and them getting to know about your business and if you're in a room full of your ideal clients and you are in that room being your brightest shiniest self i'm telling you you're gonna walk out with people wanting to know more about you okay and wanting to know more about your business and wanting to know how you can give them some of the shine that you are in there basking in all right you got it so do go to organizations this coach that i know of he built right out of the gate a $250,000 a year business because he met someone from um, Mary Kay Cosmetics. He met somebody from Mary Kay Cosmetics and he went to their events 
and they started referring him to different Mary Kay chapters and next thing you know he was helping them to increase their sales and he switched his whole business over to a Mary Kay business and turned into a then a half million dollar business so there is power in being involved in your local organizations your local chamber of commerce you know anywhere that is having meetups that may be specific to your ideal clientele okay if your ideal client is lawyers find out the different lawyers associations the women's lawyers association or the lawyers of iowa or whatever your you know locale is all right okay number seven education-based content marketing say that five times fast education-based content marketing is exactly what we're doing and the cool thing for us as coaches is that we're in the transformation business so for me this isn't a shtick you know or this isn't just you know I'm marketing or something I'm coming up with this is what I really want to share with you I really want you to take these tools tips and tactics and transform your coaching practice go out there and change lives because i'm on a mission to you know help one million people to transform their lives and so how can you use education based content marketing in your business what does it mean let's just break it down marketing is something that you use to get people awareness of your business right content marketing is by using content in order to market and sell and bring awareness to and visibility to your business. Education-based content marketing is marketing that teaches. So when you are putting your education-based content marketing out there, you're not holding back. You're not going, oh, well, I'm only gonna tell you this amount. You know, if you pay me, then I'll tell you the real stuff. I'm gonna tell you the fake stuff now. No, you wanna give them your real stuff. But of course, in this conversation, you and I only have a limited amount of time. I can only give you but so much, right? Whereas, you know, if you were part of the Spiritpreneur Warrior Business Sisterhood, or if you, opted in um, even to my free coaching business. If you go to unblock my coaching business, right, dot com and opted in there, I can give you a little more. Or if you bought the coaching business in a box kit and made that investment in yourself and your business, then I can give you tons of masterclasses, tons of templates, tons of letters and tools, coaching tools and scripts and all of that stuff, right? So it's just, you're able to only give a certain, a certain amount within a limited time with your education-based marketing, but you're not giving them lesser information or fake information, okay? Now, things that are you may already be be doing and just haven't realized that you're doing education-based content marketing your blog right videos like this one right um audio like a podcast those are all forms of possibly depending on your topic depending on your niche um education-based content marketing all right and the way that i like to look at this is you're helping google to find you let google find you let google help you There are people who right now are looking for you to coach them and they can't find you. And the great thing is education-based content marketing is going to help them to find you. (laughs) And so while we're on that, let me give you another note. (laughs) Let me give you another piece of my mind, which this is not a part of the 13 points, but visibility is so important. That's why my motto for my Woman Manifesting University is be seen, be heard, be a movement. Stop hiding. You're like, how does she know? How does she see me? I know you because I am you. Stop hiding. Get out there. That's going to be actually along with mindset in number one. Um, that's going to be the main foundation of you getting these highly engaged new clients. Remember, that's our mission. Nine highly engaged new clients in the next 28 days starts with you not hiding. Okay. Number eight speaking speaking so remember when i talked about mixing and mingling at places like the chamber of commerce or you might go to your local y or um you know there are any number of organizations where you could be speaking libraries right universities um well it depends on your target market right if you are speaking at universities and 
students are not your target client to buy your buy what you're selling then you're really not going to fill your coaching practice that way there are other benefits of course to it but right now in this masterclass, we're specifically talking about filling your coaching practice so speaking putting yourself out there as a speaker um educating your clients perhaps even about what coaching is they may want a solution to their problems but they don't know that a coach is the answer and so you could easily teach them how to do that through your talks and your speeches so many of my highly engaged amazing 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 clients can you tell that I'm in love with my clients that's how I want you to be too but so many of them came through hearing having heard me speak somewhere you know and so for you as a guru as you know a person that is out there wanting to make a difference and transform people and lives speaking needs to be on your agenda now there are different kinds of speaking right this is speaking you know speaking in a webinar or speaking in a you know speaking through your videos and your audios but i'm talking about being on stage you know of course selling from the stage is a whole um skill set in and of itself and something that we're going to be doing in my spiritpreneur warrior business sisterhood but you could certainly get started by just getting out there start with your local toastmasters you know i i did <laughs> i had already been given giving speeches and um the person who i was with at the time he was like let's get our toastmasters on and i was like okay oops wait thing on the video screen yeah so you know get out there and you know be authentically you at your Toastmasters like just now when I did that you know I'm gonna leave that in the webinar I'm gonna leave that in the masterclass because I'm being authentically me now if I was you know on a stage and you were in the audience you know you might have you would have seen me many times just kick off my shoes and be like you know <laughs> because I am being me and you being you live where your ideal clients can interact with you and see you and speak to you then your speeches are serving as education based content marketing you see how it all comes around comes together all right number nine social media yeah, I've gotten tons of clients through social media. You thought you were just wasting your time on Instagram, right? Now, of course, there are specific techniques, but what I can tell you, the easiest way to kind of get started with pulling in your ideal clients in social media is, you know, is your offering out there? Are you letting people know that it exists? Or are you hiding even in your own social media? If you are, make sure that you update your links, make sure that you update your bio. Everything has a search engine. So I might type in, you know, seeking paleo coach, you know, paleo coach on Instagram, and I'm looking for you and I can't find you if that's not in your bio, if that's not in your offering. So make sure that you are using social media to your advantage, you know, search, do a search on Twitter for the hashtag related to your ideal clients. Going back to our paleo example, search hashtag paleo. Are people asking questions that you can answer? Are people asking questions that you can say, hey, you know, I saw that you asked about, you know, what to eat paleo for breakfast. I've got this free menu um, guide, a free recipe guide on paleo breakfast. What a coinky dink. Sign up here and have it, right? So you gotta get out there. You gotta get your cute behind out there even with your social media and let us know what you have. I know that the, the prospect of selling seems daunting, but it's not selling if you are excited, energized by what you have, and if you truly believe that your offering is going to make a difference and shift and change people's lives. I can sit here a zillion percent passionate about telling you you need to get the coaching business in a box kit because I know that when I started my coaching practice, you know, I kind of was a hot mess because I didn't have the right forms. I didn't have a new client welcome kit. I didn't have the right templates to be able to follow up with people and have, you know, I didn't know how to do a discovery call that was going to convert. Um, I didn't know who my ideal client was. I was scared to niche down. I didn't know, you know, the difference between, you know, VIP days or how to do them and group coaching. I didn't know how to do that. All of these things that I teach in the coaching business in a box kit. So I specifically answered a need not only that I had, 
but that I saw again and again and again with my clients. And now I can sell it to you in an energized way because I know that it's an amazing product and I know that it's something that would change you and change your business. And so that's how I want you to be about what you're offering. And again, if what you're offering doesn't energize you, doesn't make you be like, oh my gosh, I can't wait, I can't wait to get the feedback on what they think of this new thing, this new paleo plan that I'm gonna put out there, then you need a new paleo plan <laughs> or whatever your niche is, all right? Number 10, JV. No, it's not junior varsity. <laughs> I'm talking about joint ventures, partnering with other people. Now this looks like other things and, and like different things, you know, for example, um, being on somebody's podcast, like I have a podcast, a Spiritpreneur School podcast. You could say at its most basic level, the people who guest on my podcast, I'm joint venturing with them because they are going to go and share it with their audience. I'm going to share it with mine. You then have bigger joint ventures. Like for example, I have my Abundance Pray Love Retreat in Bali, right? And all of my upcoming Goddess Pray Love Retreats, which at the time of this listening, <laughs> you can always find it, GoddessPrayLoveRetreat.com. But anyway, um, the person, you know, with each of those retreats, I am partnering with a different guru, a different healer, a different coach. And so that is a joint venture because we are joining together in that venture, right? So there are all kinds of partnerships that you could do and the most simple that you could do to get your nine highly engaged clients <laughs> in the next 28 days is guest posting. Do you know folks with blogs, friends, um, or people that you're aware of that you can ask if you can write um, a high value post on their blog? Again, that becomes education-based content marketing, you know, where you're not gonna write a piece. Here's what's amazing about my program or service or product, no. You're gonna write a piece that is all just educating, empowering, enlightening, transforming, you know, put it all there, leave the blood on the dance floor, write a piece that is amazing. And in your bio afterward, when people look, who wrote this? They'll see, oh, wait, you know, it's Carrie Diamond and her paleo plan or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Um, you could even, if you're giving nine steps to, to transform the way that you eat, I'm sticking with the paleo example, nine steps to transform the way that you eat. Step four could be, you know, download a paleo breakfast plan like mine at such and such, you know, depending of course on the guidelines of the website or blog, okay? Number 11, social proof. Social proof is so important. It's key to letting us know, okay, I can trust this person because it can be rough out here in these internet streets, right? <laughs> so we want to know that you're about what you say you're about. And so social proof, which comes in the form of testimonials, for example, you know, Carrie saying, oh, I tried, you know, I came to the master class on how to get nine highly engaged new clients in 28 days. And then I purchased coaching business in a box kit dot, at coaching business in a box kit dot com and it changed my life and my business, whatever it is, you know? And so you want to have real amazing testimonials and again, up your game if you haven't, or if you're new, you know, you of course are going to work with some people probably for free or at a very low cost in exchange for getting these testimonials that you need for us, your ideal clients to know, ah, okay, I can trust that her paleo plan is gonna help me to reach my goals or whatever you do as a guru um, in, this, in this world. Other ways that you can have social proof are, you know, case studies. You can say, you know, like for example, I can do a case study of one of my clients and say, okay, here's how she started, here's what she used this for, here's who she was after my program or process or project or service or whatever it is. Another form of social proof is, you know, like when you see those little emblems, like if you go to um, any of my sites, if you go to womanifestinguniversity, right, dot com or coachingbusinessinboxkid.com or whatever, 
it's most on most sites, most pages, not all of them, but most of them I have like, you'll see the little emblems of, um, you know, like the CW and NBC and the Discovery Channel and Essence Magazine and Black Enterprise Magazine or whatever, you know, places, Mind Body Green, places that I've appeared on TV or online that specifically give me credibility to my audience. Now it helps if the emblems, you know, the places where you've, of, you've appeared are specifically in alignment with your ideal client. Like for example, if you coach Olympic gymnasts and you've got a little Sports Illustrated logo saying Sports Illustrated, ESPN, stamp of approval, she's been on our network, then that is going to be a lot more appealing than if you're gonna help, you know, help us to give birth to our babies and you've got a Sports Illustrated logo. All right, so if you can align them, if not, put up whatever you've got and you know, you will, you'll get them as you go along because you, you've already promised me that you're gonna be excellent at what you're doing, right? Be great. Okay, all right, let me stop. Another lesson. <laughs> be great does not mean be perfect. I'm not telling you that you need to go get another 10 certifications and you need to hide your face until you do. You are amazing exactly as you are. Be excellent or be great does not mean to be a perfectionist. It means to do the very best that you can with what you know and infuse yourself with all of the knowledge of your field. If you are helping us to get our groove back, you know, and you are, um, you know, a sexy body coach, you know, then I want to see you having a sexy body. I want to see you being able to teach me, you know, pole fitness. And again, it varies by niche. And so... I want you to be well versed and excellent in what you you do, but I don't want you to beat yourself with the tyranny of being perfect and have failure to launch and never put yourself out there. All right? Watch my YouTube video, Failure to Launch. Put in go to YouTube and search for Failure to Launch and Abiola and that'll might be a helpful lesson for you if this is a challenge you have. All right. Your social proof can also be your degrees. So going back to our example of working with doctors, right? If say you're gonna help doctors learn how to speak and you have a medical degree yourself, that's great. Make sure we know about that, okay? So all of these kinds of things help us to know that you are our, you're the person for us and that you are who you say you are. All right, number 12, scarcity. Scarcity is really powerful to get us to take action. As human beings, we don't wanna make a mistake, right? So we hate to make decisions. So we may know, okay, I need to get this program. This paleo program is gonna change my life, but we're thinking, eh, do I need to get it today? I need to ask my husband for advice and permission. I need to see what my kids think. What does my best friend think? Maybe I can get it next week. Maybe I'll get it next month. Maybe I'll get it next year and we never get it. And then a year from now, we're still in the same place. Whereas, you know, if we would have made the confident and bold decision to commit and to take inspired action, then we'd be further along. So, You've gotta help your ideal clients along by providing scarcity. Scarcity means, you know, it's when we are watching an infomercial and they're like, three minutes, you know, they, you see the little timer countdown, three minutes to get this deal, or only five left and we're running out. Those things are scarcity. And you can build them into your launches, you can build them into your programs. One of the fastest things to help people to take action is having a little countdown timer on a landing page or sales page. Um, you can have so time is a limiter or a scarcity model when it comes to wanting to do marketing and conversions so is the number of like i said you know we're i'm only taking five new clients in this program if you go out there and you say i am this month in the next 28 days i'm signing up nine amazing women men you know dogs whatever your program is i'm signing up nine amazing new folks for this life-changing paleo journey you know or whatever it is make sure you've got your disclaimers together that you know or whatever it is but if you went out and you said i'm only taking nine people for this program and i'm interviewing now what people would start wanting to interview with you. And now you have clients knocking down your door. And so this is one of the main things that you can do with all of the other stuff that I've taught you so far today. 
I challenge you to hang out your shingle and say, I have decided that I'm only taking nine new clients on this month for this new program. I'm interviewing people. If you wanna get a, an interview, if you want me to interview you for this, sign up here. You will have people wanting to be a part of what you've got going on. So I challenge you, I challenge you, do this, let's see. Let's see what happens and report back. Let me know what happens, all right? You gotta really do this, okay? Yeah! Now that alone was worth the price of admission, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so scarcity, again, is what we see when we see on TV and they say, but wait, there's more, act now and you'll get another Ginsu knife for free. Whoa, we want two Ginsu knives, but we've gotta act now. So how can you have the act now? When you do your discovery calls, which are your free consultation, basically, one of the things that you can do is, I always offer a fast action bonus, again, to help people to decide, and the universe likes speed. And I say, if you can say, if you sign up within this call or by midnight tonight, you know, if they're like, I've got to talk to my wife about it or whatever, if you decide within this call or if you decide by three o'clock tomorrow, you can get half off this program. You, you wouldn't want to give such a big discount probably, but whatever it is, right? I'll give you and and you, maybe you don't, maybe it's not um, by trying to, I, I'm not a big fan of trying to lowball yourself when it comes to money. But what you can say is I'll throw in an extra three one-on-one -on -one sessions with me, or you'll get as a bonus, you know, to work with my VIP group or whatever it is. So then your offer becomes more exciting. And then those of us who are fence sitters, uh, we don't know, I gotta talk to my grandma, see what she thinks. Then we are now wanting to take action, inspired action. So help your clients along to make decisions faster using scarcity, okay? We all, you know, it's a FOMO society and nobody wants to miss out, okay? So make sure that your irresistible offer, you know, we feel equal excitement about, all right? Good, okay. Let's see. Ah, this is a really good one too. So we've spoken about, I just mentioned discovery calls, free calls, right? Now, are you doing discovery calls? One of the things that, you know, old school folks used to do way back in the days is they were on the phone a lot, right? Salespeople spent their whole day on the phone and they considered every no as something that was bringing them closer to a yes, right? Any of us who've ever done telemarketing <laughs> can attest to that, right? I remember in college doing test telemarketing and they taught us that, you know, if you get a no, you know, keep moving until you get a yes. So what you wanna do is you wanna get people on the phone. You wanna raise your numbers of the people that you're doing your discovery calls with, right? So you make your discovery calls something exciting, you know, and something transformational something that is of course in alignment with your business and your ideal clients and your niche and start to talk to people, pick up the phone, raise the number. If you think if in the next 28 days you spoke on the phone to 10 people a day, how many clients do you think you could close? How many people do you think would sign up for your irresistible offer? Yeah, so I want you to get out there and start having more conversations. And again, if you wanna know how to do a discovery call, I have lessons, masterclasses specifically on doing discovery calls, not just random discovery calls, but discovery calls that will help you to convert and get high paying clients. That's all a part of the coaching business in a box kit. <laughs> Did I tell you it was available at coachingbusinessinaboxkit.com? <laughs> All right, and then we've got number 13. Oh, we did 13, that was your free calls. And that is our 13 inspired action steps. So if you wanna take things to the next level, oop, my body is growling, maybe I do need that paleo plan. So if you are my paleo coach, hit me up. <laughs> If you want to get the coaching business in a box kit, which is gonna take your business to the next level, let me tell you what's inside. It's got master classes and all kinds of coaching business skills that you will need, including 
everything from you know your ideal clients to how to have sales conversations that convert it also has letters and templates on keeping your clients engaged on re-engaging clients who are no longer engaged on getting new clients a new client welcome kit you can just take these and brand them with your logo and your information and run with them the only thing i ask of course is that you don't resell them they are just for you only i have you know a number of tools highly um highly engaging tools that will transform your whole coaching business and make your sessions not just motivational but transformational there's a big difference so if you want to help your clients to really create a shift you want to get the coaching business in a box kit there are you know i can't even like go into the list here but yeah lots of letters and templates lots of master classes lots of coaching transformational tools you can read all about it extra extra at coachingbusinessinaboxkit.com and of course don't leave without getting your notes for this call along with your free coaching business kickstart and your free coaching business course at unblockmycoachingbusiness.com. Ah, I believe in you. And I hope that you believe in you as well. With all the bells and whistles we've talked about today, it really starts with your mindset. I don't want you to sit around waiting until you are no longer afraid to begin. I want you, even while you're quivering and you're posting, you know, on your Facebook page, I'm taking nine new clients in the next 28 days. Call me here for a free interview. Even while you're quaking, I just want you to do it. I want you to take inspired action. All right. Because we need what you have. Your birth certificate is proof that we need the magic that you came to bring in this world. And so I want to know more about you. I hope that you will join my new Facebook group at the coachingbusinesstribe.com, not the coachingbusinesstribe.com. We'll take you to my brand spanking new Facebook group, Coaching Business Tribe dot com where we can continue to have this conversation yeah yay guru <laughs>